Peace and blessings, family. This is Brother Mike X. Welcome to another clip from my YouTube channel, Brother Mike X Speaks. I'm standing here in front of my second home. You know, uh, anybody who knows me knows, you know, that I camp out at least two or three times a week in Bronze and Nobles, studying, um, reading, writing. Um, so I'm just leaving another study session, you know. Um, you know, I want to talk to you tonight about freedom. Freedom. Uh, depending upon your perspective, you know, you could look at life as a dark and descending thing. You know, many people say life is a and then you die. You know, a bee. Life is a bee and then you die. And then there are a small minority of people who know that every day that they awaken and open their eyes, that they are free. You know, free to choose how they will spend their day. Free to choose where they will place their energy. You know, um, and, and knowing that they are free. You know, they choose to place their energy in personal projects, personal efforts that are geared towards helping them to become who they believe that God put them on this planet to be. Now, I know, you know, that there's a lot of people who have different perspectives. You know, a lot of people don't believe in God. You know, there are a lot of people who... Um, you know, they may believe in God, but they, you know, believe in one name or one way of practicing it or whatever, you know. But my personal belief is that we've all been given a free will, you know, to choose what we will do with every single opportunity, every uh, particular second, minute, you know, hour, you know, day. Week, month, year We've been given the opportunity to decide How we are going to live You know And that is freedom You know And we know that we've You know There have been some dark and, 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 and dangerous things You know Hurtful things done On this planet You know As man has attempted to subjugate Other men And bend them to their will So that they can reign supreme you know, there's been times where people were forcefully, you know, shackled and imprisoned and, and, and put to work, you know what I mean? And given no choice in the matter, you know, uh, or giving little choice in the matter. Because even in those times, there were still people, you know, coming from a black perspective, because I'm a black man, there were still people that chose even then, you know, death. You know what I mean? Before slavery, you know, people like Nat Turner, people like Gabriel Prosser, you know, people like Denmark Vesey, you know what I mean? Um, people like David Walker, you know, and others, you know, a whole host of others. Harriet Tubman, you know what I mean? Sojourner Truth, you know, check some of those names out. Um, they chose even when people were on top of them, you know, under the threat of murdering them if they did not submit you know to being enslaved they still exercise freedom you know what i mean so you know my thing is today you know when things are yeah they're, they're bad but they're not as extreme as that you know what i mean too many human beings live their lives as if they are enslaved still you know, and though every single day they wake up with another opportunity to exercise freedom, they choose enslavement over freedom. You know, enslavement to old habits and beliefs. You know, enslavement to uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife, you know, that they're looking to be fulfilled through. You know what I mean? Instead of. You know, them taking their freedom and using their freedom to fulfill themselves in pursuit of their own uh, 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 of their own development of their talents and gifts and abilities, you know, to make a mark in this world, you know, based on how they see fit, you know, to grow, 
and to become and to present themselves and, and what they offer to the world. You know, that freedom. You know, there are still people who they allow themselves to be held in check, man, through old situations, old relationships, you know, a past that they can never change, you know, and allow themselves to sink into guilt and depression and sorrow, you know, all because of their perspective, you know, all because they're focused on the negative and the wrong, you know, that has been perpetuated in the past, the wrong that's still being perpetuated now, but they never get to the point where they recognize and realize that they have a choice. And because they have a choice that represents freedom, your free will that you have the power to utilize for the best of yourself first and foremost, it represents freedom. And so what we need today, we need people who is going to let go, let go of the past, let go of your desire, you know, to be fulfilled or to seek fulfillment in other people and other situations, you know, let go of your fear, you know, to go for self, you know, because a lot of times, man, you know what real people are really seeking, they're seeking security, you know, they're seeking security, they're striving to stay within what is known. You know, even if they don't like it, it's still known. They still know, uh, they know the terrain. They know the environment. It may be a job that is unfulfilling. You know, they don't like going to this job. They don't like the situation. You know what I mean? But they know it. You know what I mean? So they comfortably suffer under situations because they know what those situations are about. Stepping out into that freedom They don't know what's going to come They're you know They're not as courageous You know to do that Because it's about stepping into the unknown How you know all of that brother Mike How you know that Yo family Yo I've been a conscious Aware You know seeker Study uh, Someone who studies you know Who seeks truth Who seeks um, higher developments Develop uh, Higher levels of development Pardon me For almost 20 something years now You know And I've been an activist I've been someone who strives to rally people Together To say look man You know If we organize our numbers You know We can take control of Our existence Collectively You know And I'm one who Allowed myself to be in bondage Even on that level Even while I was seeking to say Yo we can be free Collectively I allowed myself to be in bondage To the willingness Of other people to agree with that And to be willing to practice That freedom And subjected myself To people who weren't Ready for that You know they weren't courageous enough They hadn't had a They hadn't had enough suffering yet to be ready to practice collective freedom and because you know and I and I have to admit you know I was afraid to embrace my free will and to do what I could do on an individual level and maybe open up the process of blazing a trail through modeling freedom you know what I mean walking in freedom you know, and confidence, you know what I mean? And accruing to myself the fruits that come to one who boldly and courageously walks in freedom, you know what I mean? And becomes refined in character, you know, becomes strong physically, mentally, and spiritually, you know what I mean? And attracts success to themselves because... You know, that's the only reality that they will allow themselves to contemplate and feed upon. You know what I mean? And so because other people were stuck, I allowed myself to be stuck for a number of years, man. You know what I mean? And what came out of that? You know, me being bitter, me being frustrated, me becoming judgmental of other people. You know what I mean? And, 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 and how I perceive their lives, you know. 
And as I allowed myself to be stuck and I allowed myself to descend into this bitterness and this frustration and this judgmental attitude towards others for not being willing to practice their freedom or a collective freedom, I robbed myself of being able to practice freedom. You know what I mean? And so no more, family. No more. You know, I know that every single day that I awaken, that I have freedom to order the day the way I want it to go, to continue to pursue the projects that I've started, you know what I mean, that need vital attention that only I can give to those personal projects, if those personal projects are to ever bear fruit, you know what I mean, I'm not sticking myself in the past anymore, I'm not sticking myself in looking for, you know, a collective unity an organization that may never come because of people being stuck and not being ready to practice that, you know? And so instead of me standing on the sidelines, you know, bitter, frustrated, stressed out in judgment of them and their unwillingness to let go of ignorance, to let go of a path of past that they're not happy with, to let go of stagnant, you know, affiliations that no longer serve them. You know, and actually hurt them Instead of me standing there Let me walk forth in freedom Boldly Let me step fully into the use Of the God-given free will That each one of us have been given You know, let me model You know, what walking in freedom looks like You know what I mean? In the way I speak In the way I think In the way I talk And what I actually do Because actions speak louder than words if you want to help the family, you know, and I say this particularly, man, to the activists, you know, the ones who, you know, um, they get on Facebook and, you know, they get on, you know, YouTube and, and all of these things. And they're talking about, you know, freedom and what we could do if we if we unified. Well, yo, stop allowing yourself to be stuck based on what people, the collective number of people are ready to do. And so you stand on the sidelines all bitter, you know, ridiculing people, striving to shame them and talking about them and what have you. That's not going to attract anybody to you. That's not going to bring you the, uh, the freedom that you, you know, that you say you want for our people. Why don't you go forth as an individual and use as much of your God given uh, energy, you know, to feed into your personal free will? So that you can begin to model what freedom looks like so that people can see you disaffected by hatred, by bigotry, by prejudice, you know, um, disaffected, you know, not even touched, you know, by it, you know, walking, you know, just smooth, just easing your way through. Nothing affects you. Nothing is stopping you. From ordering your life exactly the way you want it But you You know This is a challenge the, the same I'm challenging myself These words that I'm saying right now I'm saying yeah I'm saying it You know and I hope people will be impacted by what I'm saying But I'm praying Even more so To be successful And fully stepping into my Personal freedom You know what I mean So that I can grow and develop and be refined on higher and higher levels so that whenever you see me, you know, you see someone who's evolving, you see someone who's transforming, who's growing, you know what I mean? And becoming better, becoming more free, becoming more influential, man, for the best of myself and others. So, yo, family, step into your freedom, you know, your power of choice. Your power to use your free will, you know what I mean, to focus on opportunities instead of focusing on negativity, you know what I mean? So I say peace and blessings to you, family. And if, yo, step into that freedom, family, walk in victory for the best of yourself and others, and others will surely be attracted to you. Peace and love.